Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll discuss uh, friedel craft alkylation, which is one of the important reaction under electrophilic aromatic substitution. So from the name, you can understand alkylation, that is some alkyl group will be inserted to the uh, benzene ring or any derivative. So here we use some Lewis acid, mostly AlCl3, FeCl3, these kind of Lewis acids uh, you will find in most of the books but uh, there are many other Lewis acid that can also work. So why we require uh, Lewis acid? Why it is not reaction not possible without the use of Lewis acid? Actually here our main reagent is Rx that is any alkyl halide. Now X is mostly ClBrI. Now if we do not use Lewis acid then the generation of electrophile the process will not be very easy. So that is the reason we have to use Lewis acid. Now, two different mechanisms I will show, though most of that is both of them are almost same, only the difference is in the generation of electrophile. Rest of the things are almost same. So, suppose your alkyl halide is methyl halide or 1 degree halide. So, in that case, uh, here we have taken ethyl fluoride, Lewis acid AlCl3. So, here free carbocation is not generated after the interaction with Lewis acid because if the carbocation suppose as such if it is generated it will be very unstable. So that is why this type of uh, dotted line you can see that is the interaction between the Lewis acid and the alkyl halide is there and there is generation of slightly positive partial positive charge over this carbon and partial negative charge over the Lewis acid. In the next step the pi electron cloud of benzene ring it will attack this partial positive charge bearing carbon and this Cl will be completely removed. Now there is AlCl4 minus. It is written in this way. Okay. So this is a sigma complex that is a arenium intermediate that will be formed. Now actual positive charge is here but other two positive charge that is the possible positions of positive charge if you do resonance. So that is also mentioned here. And finally there is aromaticity regained. So this hydrogen it will be captured by AlCl4 minus and uh, this is our final product ethyl benzene and these are the byproducts that is HCl and Lewis acid again regenerated. Okay, so this is the mechanism for methyl or primary alkyl halide. Now for secondary and tertiary alkyl halide the complex it will be dissociated to form the ions that is now we will get free carbocation that is free electrophile. So here our starting alkyl halide is isopropyl chloride. So this is 2 degree. So here this carbocation as it is 2 degree, it has some stability unlike the previous case. So that is why now it is free electrophile. I can write it as E plus. So now the pi electron cloud, the attack is as usual, just as before. There is formation of arenium ion. And finally this hydrogen, it will be taken by one of the Cl. One Cl is extra here that is why this is AlCl4 minus. So when this hydrogen will be removed this bond will be broken. We will get a double bond here and these are the byproducts. So mechanism is almost same only difference is in the how the electrophile is generated. In the first case there is no free carbocation but if it, your alkyl halide is secondary or tertiary there is generation of free carbocation. That is the only difference. Friedel craft alkylation reaction it is not restricted to the use of alkyl halide only. In the previous example you have seen alkyl halide we have used two examples. But any pair of reagent that can form a carbocation that also we can use as alkylating agent in Friedel craft alkylation. So see in the first example we are using alkenes we are not using alkyl halide fine. So this is our mo this molecule you can see this is alkene and we are also using Lewis acid and HCl. So in presence of acid what will happen there will be protonation. Okay. See this double bond it will capture this hydrogen and why we are using Lewis acid because it will help to break this bond. Because it will capture this chlorine and AlCl4- is there and this is our carbocation that is the electrophile. So now as the carbocation is generated, the pi electron cloud, it will attack the carbocation and rest of the things are same as before. This hydrogen will be removed, this bond will be broken, you will get a new double bond here. This is the newly generated double bond. Okay. Another example, 
here we have used cyclic alkene okay so cyclohexene actually in presence of h2so4 this double bond it will capture proton from the acid there will be positive charge generation to any of this carbon and finally uh, the same mechanism as you have seen before so by using alkene also we can al we can do friedel cap alkylation using alcohol you can also do friedel cap alkylation so here we have taken this cyclic alcohol in presence of this h2so4 very strong acid there will be protonation of oh and oh will be removed minus h2o dehydration and there is generation of carbocation now the pi electron cloud it will attack this carbocation this hydrogen it will be taken by hso4 minus now when hso4 minus it is already generated in this step that is one of the proton it is taken by oh so at that time there is generation of hso4 minus which is acting as a base here it is capturing the hydrogen and it is helping to regenerate the aromaticity so this is the second example that by using alcohol we are doing alkylation using epoxide that is also another possibility so here the lewis acid alcl3 it is polarizing the co bond in this way okay because there is lone pair over oxygen this is lewis acid so this type of polarization that is polarized complex will be produced so this polarized complex is actually our electrophile okay so the pi electron cloud it will attack one of the carbon of ethylene oxide this bond will be broken and finally there is a this type of complex and this is our sigma complex right and then this ch bond it will be broken and you can consider it as if this hydrogen it will go here that is at the position of uh, it will attach with oxygen and alcl3 will be removed so lewis acid is again regenerated so our final this is our final molecule 2 phenyl ethanol so this is using epoxide the third possibility the fourth possibility is using cycloalkene so here we have taken cyclopropane so in cyclopropane the concentration of bonding electron density away from the internuclear axis it constitutes a nucleophilic region so it can readily undergo attack by the electrophilic reagent that is the lewis acid alcl3 and it can form a complex now see all the attacks are simultaneous right so if it is attacking here this bond will be broken and there will be total how many carbons one two three so if one carbon is attached to a benzene ring i'm now giving the numbers here so three carbon is attached to it lcl3 now finally removal of hydrogen as if this hydrogen is going here then only you are getting this terminal methyl group and lewis acid is regenerated so see even you using cycloalkene also here we have used cyclopropane uh, we can generate a complex which is a potential carbocation it is not exact free fully formed positive charge as electrophile but it is potential carbocation that can also react with benzene next is limitations of friedel cap alkylation there are some limitations the first point is the reaction will fail if benzene has a substituent more deactivating than halogens so these are some of the examples if no2 nme3 these are present then the reaction will fail because here our electrophile which is generated mostly from alkyl halide though you have seen some other examples but for the time being sir so suppose that alkyl halide the electrophile which is generated that is not very good electrophile so your original substrate must be very activated ring but if no2 nm nm3 plus this type of groups are there it is so it will deactivate the ring so much that the reaction is not possible because our electrophile is already very weak in a similar way if there are presence of this type of groups which are very activating right right oh nh2 nhr but the problem is there are a lone pair over these atoms nitrogen and oxygen which uh, will make complex with the lewis acid that we are using as a result you will end up with 
this type of salt so the reaction is already it, it will stop here the, it will not uh, be complete right because if it is positively charged how the next steps can occur so that is the problem so very uh, electron withdrawing group and very electron donating group both should not be present so see here i have written g nh2 no2 or na 3 plus in all these cases reaction is not possible so this is the first limitation second limitation is rearrangement may take place here we have started from propyl chloride and benzene so propyl chloride what will be our carbocation this is the carbocation which is 1 degree but we have to see is there any any possibility of car, uh, new carbocation generation which will be more uh, stable yes it is possible by this hydride shift so if this hydride it is shifted towards this position so your new carbocation it will be here so now you are getting another carbocation which is secondary so from this newly generated carbocation after this uh, rearrangement you will get this product and this is major so you want to make this product that is propyl benzene but you are ending up with this product because of the rearrangement so desired product we may not get if there is a chance of rearrangement the third limitation is the alkyl benzene product that we are getting after the first uh, alkylation suppose rcl we are using so this is our first product now when r is already inserted in the benzene ring the ring is becoming very activated now what will happen you, the reaction will not stop at this position it will further proceed towards these products so it is polyalkylation so you want to make mono substituted ring but ultimately you are getting this type of di substitution or even there may be tri substitution also so that is the third limitation polyalkylation may, may occur because the ring that we are getting after the first alkylation step that is very activated ring next we will see the applications of uh, friedel cap alkylation so first point is it is useful for making many important hydrocarbons look the first one is we are using benzene and benzyl chloride so benzyl chloride that is our alkyl halide and we are getting diphenyl methane in the second case we are using two equivalent of benzene for this molecule because it is actually behaving as two alkyl halide right both side there is cl so two times there will be friedel cap alkylation and we will get this type of molecule and the third one is we are using three equivalent of benzene for one molecule of chcl3 so here three times there will be uh, friedel cap alkylation and you are getting triphenyl methane it is methane derivative right so methane is ch4 so if you replace the hydrogens with uh, phenyl groups only one hydrogen is left so that is why it is methane derivative the first one is also methane derivative diphenyl methane and this is triphenyl methane next uh, application is ring closure so ring closure it is actually we are not using any uh, separate alkyl halide as if the alkyl halide it is a part of the ring so that is why there will be ring closure so simply we are using lewis acid we are not using any reaction partner so this is intramolecular and this is the attachment point and you will get tetraline and if you are starting with this type of molecule here you we are using different reaction partner so these uh, two times there will be lewis acid sorry two times there will be friedel cap alkylation one is at that that position another one is at that position so again we are getting tetraline derivative but it is 1 4 dimethyl tetraline okay so that is all about this video in the next video we will discuss friedel cap acylation which is just like uh, this reaction but only difference is now we will use acyl chloride that is the difference so if you find the video helpful please like share and subscribe for the related videos you will find the link in the description box until uh, then uh, goodbye i will meet you in the next video okay thank you for your time